Hey y'all, it's Alex and welcome back to my channel. Before I really get in with this, let me first apologize if there's any weird audio. I'm recording this very last minute. It is 4 p.m. on the Sunday that this will be going up, so this one is a uh, very last minute thing. But anyhow, today I'm going to be showing you guys the process of my, um, my spider soda. This has been a really big trend, and I, I wanted to hop on the bandwagon. I originally meant to do this in December. December? Yeah. I, I wanted to do this in December, but it kept getting pushed back because of other videos, and I, I finally got around to making it. But I decided my spider sona's name would be the Harvestman. Because, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm super edgy like that, and I, I wanted it to have kind of like a Grim reaper s tone. And before anybody adds me in the comments, I know that Harvestmen are technically not spiders, they're daddy long legs, but I, I want it to be edgy. So we're, we're just gonna, we're gonna leave it at that. The design for this I originally have in my sketchbook. I had this like little capelet that's attached to the spiked collar around her neck and I tried testing out going to a really long cape but I think it just threw off the balance of this piece. I originally wanted to take this piece and put it inside of my Illo sketchbook, which it's almost completely done after only having it since November 23rd. And I wanted to be able to crop this down, like crop the final piece down and put it, like tape it onto the back of one of the pages. On one side is a Copic piece, on the other side is um, a taped in piece of paper from another piece. So that way it's just more efficient that I can fit more drawings in. And I go off here and I cut it down to um, to 8 by 8 but the paper in the Illo sketchbook is technically not exactly 8 by 8 it's the border of the, um, the covers that are 8 by 8 so it didn't fit inside of the sketchbook so I was like well I've cropped it down for to this size for, for nothing. I, I guess I'm just gonna have to continue on with it this way. And at that size the composition just looked a little wonky so I, I went in and I modified it. So something that I'm gonna be testing out throughout this video, I have um, some clips here and there of doing the painting f or the composition of the piece building from a second uh, point of view and I had my iPad filming at the same time. Was this the iPad or was this a camera? No, this was the my... yes. This is the Canon T-I- T1i camera that I have. It's from 2009. The picture quality isn't the best and through some some testing after this video I found out that the the one that I have the camera that I have that works the best is actually my iPad which I also vowed I'd never use again after my um my other video with the the paper cutouts that went horribly wrong but you know. You guys should tell me whether or not you want to see more of these side views. I unfortunately had a problem with the camera overheating because it is so old and very much not meant for for just shooting video for two hours and 30 minutes, which was actually the full duration of of this uh, of this piece. Thank you. 
As for the coloring of this piece, I feel like I made everything too dark in the end. I wanted to have that red bodysuit then surrounded by a whole bunch of values of purple. Because this year I've just really started liking purple. It used to be that my favorite colors were black, blue, and red, but we're, we're adding purple into that mix now, it seems. But, um, the composition of this piece is a little funky. I've, I've, if I could go back, I would definitely fix it a little. There are a lot of times where you'll see my hands kind of like curl up and gesture at the camera where it's like, what, what the heck was I thinking? Why did I do that? And I think that's all a part of like, I, I need to learn as I go forward that I need to think out my compositions a little better. I've got to say though, at the end of this piece, I, um, I figured out a way to make her pop from the background. So I decided later on that the background for her would look best if it were like... Okay, that's what it is. All right. I also just realized that the fan on my um, on my computer is going absolutely haywire right now because I have to download a math program for one of my classes. But so uh, the background, that's what I was talking about. The background I decide on this piece, um, I decided to do my favorite blue, which is kind of like a dark Prussian blue. and. It's, it's too dark, especially when in contrast with those bright white lines that I decide to put over her suit for the spider webbing and the bright white of the spider that I put on her chest. And those I toned down later by taking a wash of the acrylic ink over top of that because the jelly roll is somewhat water soluble, but if you wait for a little while, like wait for it to dry, it won't be as bad so long as you use very light washes. Um, for the background, to be able to to be able to separate her from the background, I took a white outline all around her, and I decided that in the way that each of the um, characters from Into the Spider Verse have different animation styles. You know how like there's there's the black and white and the um, there's the, the black and white style of the, like, noir Spider-Man, and then there's the, the cartoon comic book stylized style of the world that, the, um, that Miles lives in. I decided that in the world that the Harvestman lives in, everything in the world has a white border around it. That's, that's just the animation style. I didn't remember to do that right off the bat with the flag in the bottom corner. I, I do fix that later on, but it's uh, basically a justification for me making everything too dark and dark colors are my favorite colors. So it, it's, it's very fitting for it to be my spider soda. And I'm sorry that I, I like flipped it around. I have this really bad problem of starting in the bottom right corner and working my way up to the left, even though I'm right-handed, and I, I, I know after the fact, like, crap, why did I do that? I, I should have done it the other way. That, that's something I'm like, gotta remember that for next time, Alex. But it, it never ends up working. Like, I, I just, I, I forget it instantly. And I thought the background looked a little plain, so I, I turned off my cameras, and I was staring at it, like, oh, this is kind of boring. Maybe I put, like, night sky behind her. And then I decided, oh, let's do a cityscape. I did all of that without actually having it recording at all. So I, I'm doing a little bit of um, extra detail to the city line behind her. You've got um, the river behind her with some boats on it. And I had to put a meme in there. Just, just 
had to had to zoom in on that because it at the moment that I was recording this at like 11 o'clock at night on a school night I had to put in a meme just just real subtle hint of a meme but um I I really enjoyed the um, the look of the background and I think it like it helps justify me tr like my fix for helping the harvestman stand out from the background. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me make my spider sona, and if you've done one yourself, you should leave me a link. I'd love to see what yours look like. If you'd feel so inclined, hit that subscribe button or the bell icon, or check me out at my other social media handles. Thanks, and I'll see y'all next time.